the non-physical beings that are part of your team, that stayed behind to guide this entire operation, to guide your mission, they initiate you, which is to say that they increase the frequency of your body through you not knowing what's going to happen. And when we don't know what's going to happen, we suffer. We feel an immense amount of pain. But remember, the pain isn't actual pain. It's pain from the ego's perception because the ego is losing control. So the ego is floundering like a salmon in the ocean. <laughs> but what's actually happening is that the pain is representative of a physical initiation that these non-physical beings are putting you through so that you can move into a higher level of consciousness. So pain is inevitable. As a matter of fact, I think the spiritual journey is suffering. Now, what most people do is rather than feel their emotions, their loneliness, their depression, their sadness, their anger, their fury, and so on and so on, they look for an escape route. Oh, I'm going to go drink. Oh, I'm going to go have sex. Oh, I'm going to go call my friends. Failing to realize that that's only going to defer it all. It's going to put a delay on you lifting into this higher state of consciousness because you're stuffing those emotions back down through escapism, through avoidance, rather than feeling those emotions. So you have to think of it like this. The spirit world is working from with you from an invisible dimension. These non-physical beings are assisting you, but you can't see them with your physical eyes. The problem is... You believe what you see with your physical eyes. So if your life isn't going as planned, you're like, oh my God, I need to call my friend and, and talk about it. Oh, da, 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 da. Rather than trusting the process. See, most humans are focused on the wrong reality. They're believing what they're seeing with their physical eyes rather than turning around metaphorically and realizing that there are non-physical beings lifting them into a higher state of consciousness if they just allow themselves to feel their emotions. I always say this, but feeling is a technology. When you're willing to feel the sadness, the pain, the uncertainty, when you're willing to feel these emotions, you're in a way building a bridge to this higher world. So feeling enables you to catapult into a higher dimension. So don't believe what you see with your physical eyes. The way that you open up your third eye, which is linked to the true reality, to what you feel, to what you instinctively even sense when you're around people, when they have a bad vibe, you're picking up on something. That's the true reality. Now, you don't want to judge them, but you're picking up on something about them that's putting you off. So basically, the way that you open your third eye is you have to stop believing what you see with your physical eyes. You have to tap into the information that's being given to you through what's happening physically. The physical world is an interface that the spirit world uses to get through to you. So if I lie to you, you're going to feel like something's off, right? Now, if you believe my fake smile, you're believing the physical world. So you're always going to be trapped in that world. But if you trust what you're detecting, now you're starting to move into this higher reality. You're listening to the instructions of these non-physical beings. You're now cooperating with them. So this is how you do it. You have to be willing to feel everything that comes up for you. And rather than looking for a way out... Go in. This is an inside job. If someone breaks up with you, you can talk about it the rest of your life. But talking about it is believing what you see with your physical eyes. Oh, I believe he was the one, but he wasn't. Because if he was, he still would be with you. So you have to be willing at some point. It's okay to air your dirty laundry, to talk about it for a while, to vent. It's okay. It's part of our human nature. We need that. 
But eventually, you have to take it seriously. You have to be willing to feel the grief. And remember, grief is pain, but it's also an initiation from these non-physical beings into a higher level of reality. Everything is an initiation. So when you're not in control, you're going to perceivably feel pain because the ego is freaking out. It's the mind that is suffering, not your spirit. So we need to be out of control to be willing to go through these initiations. And they, these initiations can take time. They don't happen overnight. But remember, the pain that you feel is an initiation directly from these non-physical beings who are guiding you. And what they're saying is, have faith. Allow us to transform you from the inside out. Be consumed by the pain. Be consumed by the fire of transformation. Because if you're willing to go through that, if you're willing to feel it all, you will shift as an individual. You won't be the same person because you'll have raised your level of vibration. That's how it works, my friends. So most people right now are avoiding having to feel. What you want to do is feel it. Your feelings are technology that lift you to a higher state of consciousness. I love you.